hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix in zoe island gateway game crashing not launching stuck on loading screen or lagging or freezing issue on pc so let's go through it before you go to the solutions it's mandatory to download the base game on your steam so make sure you download the base game that is in zoe on your pc and after that you can play this game in zoe island gateway so the first method is to check system requirements so go to steam uh, search for the game and then go below and here you can see the system requirements for the game to play on your pc if you follow these requirements then you can play and then check if it's working or not if not the second solution is to restart your pc so for that go to the windows icon over here then click on power and then click on restart so this will restart your system after your system restarts now try to launch the game and check if this solution helps you next is to run as administrator so for that if you have downloaded the game on your steam then go to library select your game now right click on it click on manage and then click on browse local file so this will take you to the game folder where it has been installed uh, select the game right click on it and click on properties then click on compatibility and here you have to click on run this program as an administrator then hit on apply and ok after that try to launch the game and check if this solution helps if not then you need to click on run this program in compatibility mode 4 and select windows 8 or windows 7 and then click on apply and ok and after that try to launch the game and check if this solution resolves the issue next is to adjust or update graphic settings so for that uh, go to search option over here search for device manager now go below expand display adapter select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers so this will search for the best drivers and install on your pc and after that try to launch the game and check if it's working or not you can also uh, go to the description where I have provided the link for NVIDIA and AMD where you can easily download and update your graphics card and after that try to launch the game and check if it's working or not. Next solution is to modify launch options for that go to steam select your game under library section right click on it click on properties and under general you need to type in the launch option minus DX11 and then try to play the game and check if this solution helps you if not then you need to type minus dx12 and after that try to launch the game and check if it has resolved the issue you are coming across next is to update the game so make sure your game is running on latest version so uh, go to steam under library section select your game and check if there is any update available you can see this game have update so uh, you simply need to click on update option and after the game is updated now try to launch the game and check if this solution has resolved the problem. Next is to update windows. So make sure your windows is updated to the latest version. To check it, go to the search option, search for check for updates option over here. Now here you can click on check for updates option. If there is any update available, simply update it. And once the windows is updated, now try to launch the game and check if you can play it without any further problem. If not, next solution is to disable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. So for that, you need to go to settings, then click on system, then click on display. And after that, go below and click on graphics. And here you can see optimizations for windowed games. It is disabled. Many of users it has enabled. So if uh, it is enabled, simply you need to disable it and after that restart your PC once and then try to launch the game and check if this helps you to fix the issue. Next solution is to allow game through firewall. For that go to the search option over here search for windows defender firewall click on it open it and then click on allow an app or feature and click on change settings and here uh, you need to find the game that is listed or not. If not then click on allow another app then go to the browse section and uh, go to the game folder select your game and click on it to add to the list after that select the game make sure both private and public boxes are ticked and after that click on ok and then check if 
it's playing or not on your PC. If not, then next solution is to verify integrity of game files. So for that, go to Steam under library section, select your game, right click on it, click on properties. Now click on install files and here you need to click on verify integrity of game files. So this will verify the game files. After that, uh, try to play the game and check if it's launching or not or the crashing issue is resolved or not. If not, the next method is to close background applications. So unnecessary background apps may run that can interrupt while playing the game. So for that, click over here, then go to the task manager. And from here, you need to check the apps that is consuming high resources or of no use and running in the background. Simply select it. After selecting it, right click on it, click on end a task and this will close the game that is running in the background or the app that is running in the background. After that, try to launch the game and check if this helps. Next is to install Visual C++ files. So for that, I have provided the link in the description. Just copy it and paste it in your browser. When the website opens, go through it and download the latest Visual C++ files for your PC. After downloading it, install and then try to launch the game and check if this has helped you. Next solution is to change virtual memory settings or increase file size for that. Uh, go to the search option over here, search for view advanced system settings. After that, click on advanced, then click on settings option over here, then click on advanced, then tap on change settings. Make sure to disable uh, it and select uh, the game folder where uh, game folder where and after that click on custom size and here you need to type 16384 so simply write 16384 and in the maximum size also type 16384 after this click on set and then click on ok and then try to launch the game and check if it's working or not if not, then the final solution is to reinstall the game. So for that, go to Steam under library section, select your game, right click on it, click on manage, then click on uninstall option and again click on uninstall option over here. Apart from this, you can also go to control panel, then click on uninstall a program and from here you can select the game. After that, right click on it and click on uninstall and then click on uninstall after your game is uninstalled now restart your system once after restarting again launch steam reinstall the game that you are facing problem and then try to play the game and check if this solution has resolved the issue or not so these are few suggested solutions to fix the error you are coming across while playing Enjoy Island Gateway game on your PC. So that's all for now in this video. Thank you.